There was a lot to fear in the 80s. AIDS, shoulder pads and barcodes. Yep, some people were afraid that barcode technology was part of an evil conspiracy to steal their money. Hello, baby. So in 1989, the supermarkets adopted a self-regulating code to allay concerns that barcode technology would result in widespread overcharging. All right, enough. This wig is ridiculous. And that code still exists today. There's also a similar code for independent supermarkets, and Aldi's got its own code too. But what does it mean in an age of waving cards and phones and other emerging technology? Well, at Coles, Woolies, Bilo, or wherever you see this sign, it means that if you're charged more at the checkout than the shelf price, then you get that product for free. Radical. Yeah, it is. But it only applies to products with a barcode and a shelf price less than $50. And it doesn't apply to liquor or tobacco products. Sorry, Grim. Also, if you're buying multiple products, you only get the first one for free. For the others, you have to pay the shelf price. When I'm so dry, you're killing me here. This is the case even if you notice the error later on, so there's no need to hold up the queue. And you can get the product for free even if you haven't already paid for it or if you've left the store. Unexpected item in bagging area. Remove the code also applies before. if you're at one of these modern fangdangled self-checkout areas too. It is in the bagging area. It is! Before continuing. And by the way, even if there's no barcode on the product, the consumer law says that where multiple prices are shown, if they sell it to you, it has to be at the lower price. Excuse me, oh, this happens every time. So there's nothing to fear from the humble barcode after all. Although it is the mark of the devil. Apart from that, 